wonderful. We are so we are so excited to be here today, and this is our one of our two big fundraisers we have during the school year. Our first one was back in the Magicals. Now we have the jazz art genre. So without further ado, before I introduce the band, just remind you that we have silent auctions going on. We have all these baskets going on. Uh, we really appreciate you being here, and we hope that you enjoy an incredible night of song. Old Forest Jazz Band. Take. and just kind of ending the year here. A couple of quick announcements. We had uh, a pretty busy day already this year, or today, sorry, this year. <laughs> Losing it. Just this morning we had uh, both the band and the choir over at uh, Thornwood High School for our IHSA Festival, and uh, kids performed beautifully. We got straight division ones across the board, so excellent job there. And I was telling them, we're very, very proud of the work that they did. There's so many schools that just said, hey, you know what, COVID was the, the, kind of a big deal, and we're just going to kind of take a back seat to the fine arts, and we're just going to focus on other things that need it. And the fine arts are what's needed, obviously. And these kids have just been kicking butt all year. Um, and not only have they rose to the, you know, 
levels that we had pre-COVID, but we've really been pushing them to read music and very heavily this year. And in fact, we're gonna play two pieces tonight. This is the first one, and I want you to tell me at the end of the night, if they're doing it right, you won't be able to tell me probably, but uh, this next one is one of those numbers that we passed out just last week, because I told them, if you have any interest in music later on, you better learn to read. It's not like, hey, you get a month to prepare this song before we start recording this CD. No, they'll give it to you 10 minutes before and say, all right, we're doing this, pressing the record button. And if you're not making it, you're off the job. It's a cutthroat world, it really is. And these guys have really stepped up to the occasion. So this is called Fungi Mama. We've got Ryan Darcy on tenor sax, taking his very first solo this year. And Joshua Slavero on Barry sax. Next up, we're going to try to keep these things flowing here. We've got uh, over 18 pieces, right, tonight, Mr. Pazin? I believe so. Yes, we do. Which I think is a record. It is. So. And then we'll give you, obviously, some time to uh, get up, stretch your feet, and please, even if you feel like you want to walk around now, this is a very informal event. Um, we've got... I just wanted to get one thing. 
Mr. Rojek and I have been saying it the wrong way. We do not have a silent auction here today. We keep saying silent auction. He said it, I said it, or he said it after I said it, but it is not. We are just have raffles. That was brought to my attention. So it is $6. Six for five, correct? And arm's length is 20. Have fun, and I hope everybody wins a basket tonight, so enjoy. Um, we have a couple of tunes for you. We're going to start off with a piece called, we call it Brazel Nuts, but it's not really Brazel Nuts. It's called Brazil, and it's a great piece. It's a samba piece that we really hope that you enjoy. There will be a soloist in here, and that will be Miss Mia DeLeo. Give it up for Miss Mia DeLeo. So we'll check you have the you want to use the mic?
back in, I would say it was in March, wasn't it? Yeah, just March, we had a benefit concert, and the jazz band and all the choral departments, both at Tinley and Oak Forest, we put together and we raised money for NAMI, a National Alliance for Mental Illness, and they raised over $1,700. This was... Great this was one of the songs that we did called Ain't No Sunshine by Bill Withers. numbers or you just want to play buddy oh wait a second we have our first 50 50 it's 130 dollars sorry she thinks it's 130 dollars put it up here and here we go let's have a little drum roll please first throw in the air here we go this is it. It is red. It is a red card. It is red and it is a face card. Mm. That just leaves a jack, a queen, or a king. It is a king. It is a king of diamonds. Is the winner. King of diamonds coming up. We got a winner back here. Way to go. Oh my god. Congratulations! Okay, Mr. Roja. All right, next up we're going to play a piece called St. Louis Blues. We're going to feature Danny Larson on trombone. We've got Stephen Bilkey on uh, drums. 
and Jackie Jacqueline Grant on trumpet.
Uh, next up, we're going to feature Nicholas Zavala, one of our senior alto saxophone students, on a piece called Take Five.
We hope you enjoy. Hold on. me back. Yeah, okay. I talk to my students all the time, uh, you know, being as young as I am, you know, but I think I'm older than most people here, which is pretty wonderful because I've been enjoying life. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to change things up a little bit. Uh, it's going to be the first time that I'm going to actually perform. Um, we're going to perform as a quartet with uh, 
couple of seniors. Uh, this gentleman over here, come on up, uh, Mr. Landig. Uh, Jeremy Landig is a friend of mine, he's a colleague of mine, um, and uh, we needed an accompanist, and I put it out there on the internet, and on, I am a choir director, and lo and behold, Mr. Landig said, hey Vic, I'd be more than happy to help you out. So he is our accompanist, and he is a choir director over at Lamont High School, so he's going to be joining us. And so we're going to be singing for you a lullaby, um, a nightingale sing in Barclay Square.
got another vocalist with extremely high level of talent. And that's Mr. Brendan Infante. Come on up here. Incredible energy. If you guys have ever seen any of our musicals, you see this kid and what he's what he does to the whole, not just his part, but the whole cast by just him being up there. Um, great voice, and we talked earlier this year about uh, maybe doing some Michael Bublé pieces, and uh, when we finally decided on one, we could not find an arrangement. And that's often the issue, is we look all over, vocalists have an idea what they want to do, and then we cannot find the right arrangement. So what we actually did was we found a bootleg version that was online, so take this off the recordings, please. Um, and it was actually online from the uh, the arranger of Michael Bublé's group himself. And uh, pretty difficult keys, and the kids actually handled it quite well, as you'll hear. This is Sway featuring Mr. Fante. How are we doing tonight? I want to say one thing, the jazz band and I are going to play a song. You can sit down, you can stand up, but all we want you to do is sway. Yeah. Start to play 
another one of our student solos, this time on drums. Steven Belkey. Bilkey. How many times do I? Bilkey. Um, and we are going to play, it's a drum feature called Cute. No offense, Steven.
remember earlier I was talking about the songs that we were sight reading. We played that song maybe, what, three times now? And that was the number two song on the sight reading list. So excellent job, guys. Excellent job, Steven. Yeah. We are doing really, really well tonight, um, both on the performance end as well as um, what people have been generously donating so far. And if you don't understand what we, um, this whole, the whole point of obviously of this night is to raise money for some of the things that are a little harder to uh, purchase on an every year type of cycle. And with that in mind, we've had some tremendous, tremendous offerings and support from our district this past uh, couple years. And new this year, um, we've had private instructors set up to come into our school to work with our students, which is insane. Free of charge, completely on scholarship. And these are not just, uh, you know, starter private teachers. Every one of our instructors that we've had so far have been teaching for double digit plus years and are playing professionally as freelance musicians in the area. And personality wise, we've had a perfect match so far with our, what are we at, six, seven now? And our, and our school just about, last about, week, uh, practice teachers? Yeah. Yeah, we just, uh, the vocal just started, vocal teachers just started this week. We had our first day of rehearsals and everything's virtual with these kids right now but uh, all my kids are like this is what they told me to do and I'm like cool you know these are the things that we're learning and just this and I'm, the voice teacher talked with me and she said you know Vic every single one of these kids just at this first lesson have already made progress you know so it's just like so private instruction even though what Mr. Rojek and what I teach in the classroom one-on-one -on -one instruction is unbelievable you know, I mean, we can teach so much, uh, but when it comes to that one-on-one -on -one instruction, really the kids start to make that leaps and bounds because they really understand what they have to do in order to produce sound. So our, our district has really come to the forefront on this. And, you know, please let the, let the superintendent, please let the, the assistant superintendent, please let our principal know and let them know and say thank you very much for supporting the arts and having them you know, provide the lessons. They also did the same thing for drama. What the district did, and they said, you don't have to raise money anymore and charge you know, 10 to $15 a ticket. You just do $3 and $5, $5 for adults, $3 for students, and guess what? We'll give you 10 grand. And so they gave us 10 grand to do the fall play and the spring musical. You have no idea how awesome it is, not only for Oak Forest, but people like, like Hillcrest, and Bremen and Tinley Park, where sometimes they don't have the cash to go ahead and do that, and they're putting on huge productions, and it's all because of our district. So again, you have no idea. If each of you go ahead and you call, and you let the superintendent know, and that's important, let them know, say thank you, because they need to know, they need to hear it from you, not just from us. So um, we're gonna take a short little break. Yeah, we are, but real quick, I wanted to finish that point. One of the key, players in making all of this stuff happen is sitting right in the back of their room. Would you please stand up, please? This, this is... Sorry, go ahead. Jen Reed is our, our supervisor for the fine arts, district-wide, and she is a product of actually a band director that I grew up knowing, Don Melka, and she's a phenomenal artist and teacher. She's been in the classroom for so many years, which is kind of a, a big deal for all of us teachers that have supervisors and some of them really don't have that much teaching experience, but I'll tell you, killer teacher, even better if that's possible, supervisor, and I'm not just saying that because she's here, because we say this obviously at our booster meetings as well, but uh, she had made all of these like wish list things happen for us this year by how she approaches the topics with bringing these things to our, our district leadership and um, selling the ideas and obviously supporting us as teachers, so thank you so much. Can you give, please give her a round of applause? We're going to turn the lights on. I know there's a lot of great things 
on these tables in the back. And um, we're going to take about 15 minutes. Does that sound good, or you want about 10 minutes? Let's go about 10. Okay. There, there are some bathrooms in right out of this corridor here. If you're looking for those, there's some more down this corridor. Okay. We'll put the lights on in the back there so you guys can get a better look at what's in and, these um, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Federenko. Mrs. Federenko. She's back here. She says she has a half a deck for the next. Um, for the next uh, split the pot, so she has, she has a half a, half a deck of cards still over there. So please, sir, uh, thank you very much, and we're going to be back on task in about ten minutes, everybody.